Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where last time... Funeral. There was a funeral. A fake funeral. But not fake tears. Nope. By Rosa. Who High really five. misses him? Yes, <laughs> that did happen. Uh, there was also a jail, hmm. where Rosa was supposed to go to jail. It didn't work out, so we had Santiago go instead. In order to get information about uh, Jimmy Figgis, I think... Well, yeah, I think they were trying to get information to lead them towards Scarja. Yeah, that's right. The hand. <laughs> I called you here to discuss where we are with Operation 225641441636324. I think it's time for me to call in a favor from an old colleague at the Bureau, Bob Anderson. He once picked up a penny off the street, which he then reported on his taxes. <laughs> we worked together back in the day and really hit it off. We're going to be here a while. Would you like to talk? I'd rather not. Agree. <laughs> That's the uh, State Farm guy, isn't it? Is he State the State Farm, Farm guy? I think, it? I think it is. <laughs> Good to see you. And you. Apologies, it's inappropriate for me to partake in such informal conversation in front of your detectives. It's all right. I am equally to blame. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's two of them. So, Raymond, what evidence do you have that there's a dirty agent in the FBI? That sounds like him, yeah. We've been calling him Scar Joe like the actress Scarlett Johansson. What? An actress? I didn't know that was where that was from. Bob, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'll look past it. I'll look past it. I'd recognize that scar from 20 miles away. You must have fantastic vision. Or it's a gigantic scar. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the questions, Regis? Actually, it's Michael Strahan now. What? She's so scary. What? I thought you were doing fertility treatments. We are, but it's not going well. The doctor said my sterility is so aggressive it may have spread to her. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those numbers aren't supposed to be public until next week. Terry, you're gonna have to be more interesting if you want to get an oh dang. There's a leak in the 99. Nine. Oh dang. I can't imagine anyone would be stupid enough to leak them. Really, Terrence? Look how dumb they are. Oh! oh. <laughs> Printer's fixed. Hmm. Oh, dang. I'm not sure what I just watched. No, there was pizza. I'm trying to process they what happened. They accidentally put pizza in the that, And it printed on it? Here you go. Oh. 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 Thank you. 4.13 p.m. Our subject finishes his coffee or tea. Mark the beverages unknown. <laughs> And we're just sitting here watching him eat a peach. As a nectarine. It's either a nectarine or a peach. Just right, unknown stone fruit. <laughs> Break into the FBI and steal the file. Don't be absurd. Bob, I apologize for the absurdity. I see no absurdity. Actually, I think Peralta's right. Let's plan a heist. Ooh. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody remember what your lint looks like. My lint is round. My lint is approximately one centimeter in diameter. My lint is blue. My lint is oblong. My lint is approximately half a centimeter in length. My lint is also blue. Drop down into the archive room and steal the file. I ain't gonna get out. Pull myself back up the way I came in. What? I can do a pull-up. Terry will teach me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him mention Sex and the City. Then I will discuss both of those shows with him. Sex and the City. Oh, it's not a show called Sex and then another show called the city. Okay, good start. Now I know that. <laughs> I got the DVRs. Uh, actually, that that's my lint. My lint is oblong. My lint is blue. <laughs> Cortez says that you're sensitive. I like that. I've only been with cheating scum oh. until now. <laughs> Everything okay in here? Yeah. We're all good. He was just checking me out. Mm -hmm. um, and I will see you soon, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Later. Curse is perfect, but <laughs> How dare you, sir? Do you really think we would leak information on purpose? No, we think you're dumb dums and you did it by accident. That's all. Oh, well, that's very possible. <laughs> On Saturday, I got together with my friends and we went to the dog track. We need names. I lied. There's not multiple friends. It's just Scully. Okay. What about you, Scully? Well, I went to the Knicks game with a buddy. 
Was this buddy named Hitchcock? Yes. And we weren't at the game, we were at the dog track. <laughs> uh. Wait, do either of you even know what our arrest numbers were? Twelve. No! Then no. Yeah, they're not the lead. Twelve. No. Come on, man, use your muscle. Is he lifting him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scully. Rosa. <laughs> Rosa. Good job. Can you do it without screaming? Pra Bub Lee. Then we're ready. Let's break into the FBI. Oh, come on, Captain. This is such a big moment. Say it with more gusto. Indeed, like this. Let's break into the FBI. Oh, I see. Let's break into the FBI. No. Let's break into the FBI. 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 I feel like I'm doing it. Let's break into the FBI. Let's break into the FBI. Okay. Let's... What are we doing? I think we got it. Now. Let's break into the FBI. I like having more than one hold. Oh my gosh, he's sinking her into that box. Good morning. No way is she in that box. Flexible. No, it's a, it's a trick. She's somewhere else. She's the bag man. She's underneath. I apologize for the double entendre. I can be such a Samantha. Really? You don't seem like a Samantha. Well, I'm actually a combination of all four characters. Five, Five of you count the city, the city of New York, York. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another sex in the city. Guilty city as judged. Yeah, there she is, okay. Meanwhile, across town, Charlotte couldn't stop having sex. And Samantha, Samantha was just being <laughs> so, so good. <laughs> Whoops. I hate big. Carrie should have ended up with Mikhail Baryshnikov. What? He slapped her. Are you insane? Bingo. You got the file. Prepared for extraction. Oh, no. He didn't account for the weight of the file. If you ask me, they never should have made the movie. Abu Dhabi, Abu don't bother. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna use that. Please do. Have a nice day. Oh. Damn, Holt, good job. Yep. Whoa, wait, hold on, stop. Both of you. That pass is only for the ninth floor. All right, let me see that envelope. Oh, um, actually, I can't show you that because... It's okay. I asked him to come down and mail that. I just need to put my return address on it. Swaps it yeah. out. Well, there you go. Thanks. Why is he in a drink show? Why not? What the hoo! What the hoo! We did it! <sighs> Rolf is what? a small man, isn't he? I'm only human. You can't always expect me to be the coolest guy ever. Coolest guy ever? Try telling that to Alan Greenspan. Nice burn, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's an economist. See, the art of seduction is all about making people wait. Right. Genevieve and I often no. begin our lovemaking oh. sessions with okay. hours upon hours yep. of delicate. Okay, just, please kind stop. Of Guard. 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 <laughs> Take me to prison, please. <laughs> Who is Genevieve? No one. My chiropractor. An answer it. Hello. Honey, the adoption papers went through. You're gonna be a daddy. Oh my oh. God! I'm having a baby. I mean, this is the wrong number. Don't call here again. You're dead. No, you're dead. Please don't hurt me. You're dead. <laughs> you don't take your job very seriously. Whoa, we're about to have our first fight as a couple, Terrence. First of all, I take my job very seriously. That's why I'm here right now helping you, and I'm the only one doing it. Or I was until you insulted me. Now watch me walk away. I said watch me. Wow. Let's go arrest that punk. <laughs> he says punk just like you. What do you think he learned it? Punk. <laughs> Somebody's been here. Look, a body. We got a body. Dead. Uh, He's dead. Biggest uh, got to him. He's got a pulse. No, wait. That's my pulse. No, it's his pulse. No, it's both our pulses. He's alive. I'm alive. 
We're all alive! Oh, this case just got busted wide open. All right, well, he's alive, I guess. I really have embraced my wild side today. As have I. Chocolate and nuts. Actually, that's overkill. Indeed. <laughs> Why can't I find a good man? Could be because you're in prison for murder. Nah, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> Before this, I used to date all my brother's friends from the mob. All dogs, too. No, never mind. You, you don't want to hear about them. Uh, no, I do want to hear about them. Please. That would be nice. Ah, not a toucher. Totally get it. I'll keep my hands to myself. So I went through your feed to see what you were posting. A lot of pictures of your kids, nobody cares. And then I found this picture you posted last week. The background. Living that hashtag yogurt life. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. But what's even more embarrassing, Terry, is that the arrest numbers are in the photo, clear as day. Oh my God. I was weak. Gina, I am so sorry I blamed you. And I knew you would say something like that, so I went ahead and bought myself a cake on your behalf. Check it out. Oh, dang. And this is big. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. For a second there, I didn't think we were going to pull it off. I knew we could. And we did. To us! Where did they come oh. from? What are you guys celebrating? Terry was mad at us, but we didn't know what he was talking about, and he went away. Huge day. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Maura told me who Vegas has working for him in the FBI. Yeah, I already it's know. Bob. Don't be Bob. Agent Ryan Whelan. Also, I did one full pull-up. I'm gonna be so buff when you get back. Cool, babe. Did you get the other guy? What other guy? Someone named Bob Anderson. Oh my god. Amy, I have to go. Bob is working for Figgis. He helped us with the heist, and there was nothing about him in the paper file. Yeah, because that wasn't the real file. He swapped it. I just need to put my He swapped it to save it. them, not... Oh. Yeah. We have to call Halt. I didn't want it to be true. I know. I was hoping not when he's like, I'll stay here to interrogate this point. Don't answer that, Raven. And now I'm going to have to kill you. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Damn it! This is like a three-parter. I know. We never get these. I love it. It's not just one and done. It's been ongoing and great. <laughs> <laughs> we got a another Holt, Bob an Anderson, evil Holt. An evil Holt. God, he's so good. State Farm is there. Being Holt, yeah. yeah. Chocolate and nuts. It's That's, overkill. It's overkill. <laughs> <laughs> really catch this punk. He says punk like you. What do you, you think I got it? Punk, punk. <laughs> uh, all that stuff was great. I loved all good. that. The whole thing was like, let's rob the FBI. Let's break into the FBI. Let's break into the FBI. Let's break into the FBI. Let's break And then he gets kept going. That was similar to him and uh, uh, Diaz being like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the one. <laughs> Yo, I also though really liked. Like, I'm glad we saw the Amy stuff going on too. Yeah. At first, I thought I was like, "Well, is this going to be relevant?" Because mm. we are figuring it out. But I wondered whenever. It's very Bob, important. I wondered whenever Bob had said like, "I'm gonna stay here and interrogate him as soon as he wakes up." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Can I trust Bob?" I don't know why, but yeah. that right then I was like, "Can I trust Bob?" And then Holt said he was gonna say, "Okay, good." Holt's staying too. Yeah, I, I thought like about as, it as soon as the one the one FBI agent got found out, he got burned. Yeah. He was shot. Yeah. Sure. I guess I didn't think about it then. Mm -hmm. It really was whenever he's like, I'm going to stay here. I'm like, yeah. I, I, I thought about it when he switched the file, but I didn't want to believe it. Sure. Well, I thought he was doing because like the one guy's like, let me see that folder. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, oh, good. He came in and said the day. But, well, he switched the file. But then the guy never checked it either. And I was like, did it matter if he switched the file? Yeah. Because I figured he switched the file because you could see two they could check things it. there. Yeah. But he just like, yeah. Holtz. Sex in the City talk was so That was funny. really good. He did a really good. I, I thought he wouldn't. He did great. He did. He nailed he, it. Gina taught him well. I like their little montage of everyone getting prepared. Mm -hmm. Like the yoga prep preparation, the, the pull-ups, yeah. the Sex in the City. Jake with the sock in his mouth. Yeah, him, that one that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it without screaming? And then just with the whole Amy thing, like Charles sterility being so aggressive that it may have spread to her. <laughs> he infected her with the sterility. <laughs> yeah. That was the one thing that like 
I liked a lot of what they were doing. And I started to say about that, but then I looped back around to Hulk because yeah. I loved all that stuff too. But yeah. I really enjoyed that idea. And then I was thinking about like, that wait, why is he funny. sterile? I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, so he's so sterile from that that he may have been... He's made her barren. He's making her sterile as well. <laughs> like, He's making her a hostile environment. Uh, and they've like, been approved for adoption. So like, are we going to get Boyle with the dad? Maybe, yeah. you think it's going to go through? Or do you think this one's going to fall apart too? Because he's been close before. He's going to marry that woman and go to Canada. Yeah, I think this one's doing better, though. We don't always see Genevieve very much. No. Mm -hmm. Which I think means it's going well. Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen Scully's wife either, and they are getting separated. Kelly? What about... Wait, we don't know if that's wife or dog, sorry. What about no, Terry's no. wife? We don't see Terry's wife very often. We've what seen about her a few times. Kevin! We don't see Kevin enough. See? He was just in France. So, it probably fine. That's true. Is he still in France when he come back? I don't know. I forget if he came back. I don't know if he's back he, or not. Holt visit him in France, but I don't think Kevin came back. Because he gained three pounds! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did like Gina's that she got that cake. And didn't reveal it until after he said those exact words. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Look like a good cake, too. Bob Anderson is the sword choreographer, right? Yes. Okay. They said that, and that's just all I can think about. Yeah. Errol Flynn stunt double, mm -hmm. and then the sword master that did the Princess Bride, Lord of the Rings, and then famously wore the suit. Not only for Empire Strikes Back when Vader fights, but a lot of the times in Return of the Jedi, because uh, you know, David Prowse and Lucas kind of didn't get along after a while. So Bob, Bob Anderson did actually a little bit more than the sword fighting in Return of the Jedi. Dude, I loved I don't know why. But there was something about the damn lint that was just the way I like lint is oblong. My lint, my lint is, is one centimeter in diameter and round. My lint is oblong and blue. half a centimeter in diameter yeah. and blue. And then when I, I love her putting it there, blue. like no wait, that's my lint. My lint is oblong. My lint is blue. And blue, yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> they're all blue. It was so funny. It was uh, just something about the way you delivered it, uh -huh. and how they set it up before. It was just so funny. I loved it. Uh. But no, I've, I've enjoyed this, like, we're on, like, three, four episodes, I don't know. Like, there was also a break. Like, the, the Pimento stuff was kind of, like, he came in and introduced, and then we yeah. got a little bit more, and now we it took a break, and then we got more. But it's been doing really well. I really liked it. Were those mm -hmm. Apollo bars, those candy bars they had? I've never heard of an Apollo bar. You said that. So, you'll learn about them in another show that we're going to be watching. Apollo bars. You don't like nuts, so I know you haven't had it. You actually... Would have uh, seen it before, I think, Rick. Let me double check before. Uh, in the show Lost, the Apollo bar is a fictional candy bar. Mm. But you would have seen it. Kate ate an Apollo bar in the pantry of the Swan Station. So everything else that was... That's all Dharma stuff. But there Dharma, was... but there was one thing that was a Dharma brand. It was I remember her bar. eating the bar. Also, but... Boone appears to have a, uh, uh, one in the pilot episode when offering chocolate to Shannon. I don't remember that. Yeah. But I, I it'll be something that, that every once in a while, if you look at like sure. a vending machine or a candy, it's an Apollo bar. Yeah. So I just wonder if Brooklyn Nine Nine had an Apollo bar, and I can't find it. But it looked exactly like it to me. Ugh. This show aired April of 2016 for this episode. Yeah. And Amy had her first child in 2016. Gotcha. So yes, I was right about her being pregnant. Okay. Was, I'm so happy. I was like, I never looked up to see if she. Had a child or anything. Since then, she's had another child. Which, I don't... Is Brooklyn Nine-Nine still going on? It is, right? So, like... She had another child at, like... Yeah, the last season. In 2020 or something. So, there might be another time when she gets pregnant during the show, too. So, if she's still mm, in it. She maybe, might not She might not be in it. Maybe she actually gets pregnant in the show, though. That's true, too. They could actually jinx it into the story or something. Hurley has several Apollo bars in his stash, and then John Locke had one at the computer table, and he was trying to remember the map. Mm. So, it's happened a couple of times, but it'll be a little more apparent. But I can't find... Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. I do like. Did they call them Apollo bars? Remember, no, they just look like it. And I thought it said it too. Can't remember if it was an article or a video, but just watching like here's the same newspaper in a thousand different yeah. things. There's one in The Purge election year. Really? There's one in Once Upon a Time, Brooklyn Nine Nine, in the episode Brewery. There's a scene at the end in the hospital after they arrest. A dirty FBI agent where Captain Holt tries his first Apollo I bar. I mean, there you go. They look you have like a picture it. of the bar? Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. 
I mean, this one, actually, that one looks a little... Yeah, it looks like that. Like the that. font's kind of... It's supposed to look like that. Yeah. That but it makes like sense. The loss is ABC. This was this was ABC, right? Until it was bought by... Where's it? NBC. I can't remember. It's NBC, right? Yeah. It's Peacock. Right. Yeah. yeah, what is now? But didn't it change at one point? I have no I idea. I can't remember. I've never, I don't know. I never watched My it. My first time watching the show. All, I've, all I know is it's... Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was in Scrubs, too. Yeah, was at one point. Hmm. Interesting. We need to get some. And uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> that one's much more strange. Yeah, cool little Easter egg people put in there. For, but I think it was created by with Lost. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right, um, that's about all I got. I think so. And uh, how awesome Alan Reed's fan is. What? <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine with us. We are getting very, 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 very close to the finale of this season. You want to check out that reaction right now? You can. Patreon.com slash BlindWave has early access to up to four reactions. So that's not just the finale, but the premiere for season three. 